Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. You may remember from previous videos I'm having a bit of a problem with slugs in the greenhouse. Well today is the day of reckoning. I've got some money at last, done a bit of private work at the weekend, so got some cash, so the cash flow problems are sorted. Um, so what I'm going to do is take you guys in, have a look at some of the gaps the slugs have been getting through, and then we'll go through, it's going to be a very quick video, well I'll speed it up, otherwise it's going to be incredibly boring to watch. I'm going to use some all-weather sealant, and a spatula scraper thing, flexible thing. You're not supposed to use your finger with this stuff, apparently it's flammable and stuff, so sounds a bit scary. Anyway, I'll be using this. So what we'll do is, I'll take you around and we'll have a look at some of these gaps um, shortly before I go around and fill them all in. Okay, so into the greenhouse. You're just on the tripod now, so it's going to be a bit wobbly. So everything's a mess. I've moved everything into the middle. There's the water atomizer and the fan and a few other gubbins. I've got all the... Um, um, what's it called? The guttering and drainage to come off the uh, the gutters around the greenhouse for a water butt at some point. So let me take you through. So this is the Elite Belmont. I should really do a, the greenhouse is an Elite Belmont. I should really do a proper review on this at some point. It's a great greenhouse. It's sturdy as anything. However, it has got a few panel gaps. Is probably the best way to say it. So we'll go around and have a look at some of those in a minute. There's there's basically one in it. Every, everywhere a panel meets a panel there's a gap. I'm not sure whether that's my construction technique. Everything's level. I leveled it all up with the spirit level as I was doing it. Um, but yet there's still some gaps. We'll have a wander up over here and I'll show you an example. Okay, so over in the corner here, we just move in. If I'm going to put you in over the dendrobium, there's a dirty great gap in the corner there. Bring you back out again. There's also not sure if you're going to be able to see this. Another gap in the middle of the roof up there, just where the uh, the gable meets itself, the two sections. Oh, there's another gap in the corner there. So we're going to fill those in. So that's a pretty obvious entry point for the slugs. Also down the bottom. Now I'm not entirely sure if it's my. Okay, I'll be honest. It's probably my concrete laying abilities. It's flat. No, it's not flat. It's st okay. It's pretty sturdy, and I'm happy with it. It's definitely strong enough to uh, hold the weight of a fully loaded greenhouse and everything else I'll put in here over the next 25 years, I expect. Um, but I'm an arborist. I'm not a concrete layer, so it's as flat as I can get it. It's square. It's flat-ish, um, uh, but it's heavy duty. It's about 12 inches thick. I probably over-engineered it, if anything. Um, we'll have a look around the bottom and I'll show you some of these little gaps where the uh, slugs have been getting in and you can laugh laugh at my awful concrete laying skills. And oh, if I didn't mention before, there's the obligatory gin and tonic. Can't do any DIY without some sort of alcohol, cool, refreshing alcoholic beverage. Let's get down here and have a look at the bottom. See this tiny gap where my finger is? It's probably well, it's less than 10 mil. There's a little gap here. It runs along the bottom. There's a few bits of slate I've packed in there as well, just in a, 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 as a quick attempt to fix things. There's more gaps along the front here. Not so bad over the back. So that's looking down the right hand side of the greenhouse underneath the benches. There's a bit of a gap there. That's where I think they were coming in. Um, so that's where I'm going to concentrate. All the way along the bottom. Over the other side of the greenhouse. In the corners. There's a couple of gaps there, and there's also a socking great gap that runs all the way along the bottom, all the way over the other side. So that's what we're going to be sealing up. I'm going to seal up both sides of the greenhouse, so on the inside and on the outside, and hopefully that's going to be enough to cure the slug problem because, uh, the, like I said, with the move, the plants are in like the worst condition possible. They hated it. Now they're finally recovering. Some of the new growth, after some of these plants I've had for nine years, some of the new growth is being eaten, which really grinds my gears. So we'll get the, the, the greenhouse sealed up and hopefully that'll solve our problem. So I'll set up the tripod now. You can watch me running around in, in high speed, looking like an imbecile, sealing up all these gaps. And then after that, we'll close the video up with a little discussion about how it went and, uh, and future prospects as well, because I'm gonna be buying some, a few more things tonight for the greenhouse. So it's pretty dark, we're still going. I've done the outside, I'm just doing the inside now. And uh, the greenhouse is full of acetone. I'm feeling high as a kite. 
So uh, it, it smells just like um, um, when you do air fix, it smells just like Yoohoo Blue. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is quite fun actually, to be honest. Um, I've just got, I've done that side, I've got half of this side to do in the two ends. I've blocked up the holes outside and in, and um, I'm just going to finish working my way around here. It's pretty dark, I'm struggling to see myself now. I don't know how the video is going to turn out. Okay, so two tubes down, the greenhouse is all sealed up. The stink of acetone is unbelievable in there, so I've got all the vents open, I've got the swamp cooler going, all the fans going, the doors open to try and get some of these noxious gases out. It smells just like you who when you used to do air fix, it stinks. But hopefully that's done it. I've sealed all the cracks up, I've done the roof, um, these went pretty quickly, so hopefully that solved the problem. Um, not a very interesting video today, but I've made mention of it. I said I was going to make a, do a quick video on how I did it, um, and this was my answer to it. So we'll see how we get on. If you like this video and you want to see more sort of tutorials on how to seal a greenhouse to the floor and stop slugs, then tune into one of us greenhouse for more videos.